Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you the parts that I had to order to replace the bearings on the riding snapper mower's deck. Now, this looks like it should be an easy enough job. Take a look, and it is. Take the nut off, remove the pulley, remove a snap ring, snap ring on the bottom, and the spindle should fall right out. Well, that's what I thought. This all started when a friend of mine told me his blade fell off that the bolt broke off inside the spindle. So when I went there, I noticed that the bearings were bare, and I said, well, you know what, let me change these bearings while I'm here. Drilled out the bolt, came right out, no problem at all. And when I went to remove this pulley, well, let me just show you the follow in the following clips on what I tried to do to get it off. I ended up having to cut it off and I had to order these parts. The parts took a little over two months, I believe, to come in. And when I call, they asked what the delay was in these parts. So what are you making them? And the answer was, yes, the pulley, had, I believe it was the pulley that they had to make. Well, I was able to get the parts, fortunate enough for that. We didn't have to look for another deck and the parts were very easy to assemble. I did have a few pitches on the inside of the spindle but unfortunately they were in a file with another video that I did and I deleted it but you should be able to get an idea you should be able to get a good idea on how this goes together let me tell you I worked on quite a few tractors and this simplicity is one of the better made ones that I've worked on in a while it was the first one the only one that I ever worked on and the way it's put together it simplicity well they have the right name for it and durability I don't know what year this is, but it has to be in the early 80s, maybe late 70s, and it doesn't even have a belt to the rear wheels. It's direct drive. I don't have that videoed, and the tractor went back to my friend, so it's not. I don't have it available right now to take other pictures on it. But sit back, follow along, and at the end of the video, post your comments or questions down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have to the best of my ability. Well, let's give it a go. The pulley and the rest of the parts arrived for this deck after two months of waiting. I have to say, when they finally arrived between the rain and this virus situation kicked in afterwards, this deck just sat here for a while. But the grass is growing now, and it's time to get this together. When I called and asked what was taking so long, I said, what are they making it? And the reply was, yes, they had to make it. I just want to show you something. This, I thought this was quite odd. I didn't rip this apart. This is how this box came. I did open it up over here. There was a piece of tape. But this is how this box arrived. It looked like a used box or something that was on the shelf for a while. This is the pulley. It's an, it says Genuine Briggs & Stratton. But when you take the pulley out, this is the pulley that arrived. This is the condition that it was in. And this is the original pulley here. Well, the good news is, is that it fits. It looks like the same diameter. But you can see these, you can see this roll on the pulley itself. This has a nice flange to it. Right this. It's sharp on the bottom. It has a little bit of flange on the top. Like right this, it's sharp on the top and a little bit of flange on the bottom over here. But nothing like the original you can see this metal is rolled over and it has a lip so i don't believe this is a genuine briggs and stratton part i do believe that it was manufactured well that said what i had to get remember the earlier part of the video 
we had to cut the shaft off because we couldn't get to it. Here's the new shaft. These look like genuine parts, they're in the bag. So we have the shaft, we have the bearings, which were the issue to begin with. Two bearings, uh, two bearings, and I had to order this plate. Now, the funny part is, this pulley, on the side where the bearings are good, pulled right, pulled right off, pulls right off. The one on that side, no matter, no matter what I did, I couldn't get that pulley out of there. I couldn't get that shaft out of there, it just, just wouldn't go. You saw that I used pulleys on it, I used a little bit of heat. I didn't have a torch, if I had an acetylene torch, that might have done it, it should have done it, but I didn't have it handy and I ended up cutting it out. But with that said, I'm gonna get started on this today. Hopefully I get this all together and there's no other issues with this deck. It's been out here for several months. I tried covering it up, but it did rust. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to clean this up a little before I put a belt on. I'll oil all these pulleys, grease where I gotta grease. I'm not showing you the procedure as I do it, only because I don't have a tripod out here. You can see I'm working outside. Um, with my outside bench over here. And there really isn't a place for me to set one up and I don't have one for this particular camera. I have to work on that. I'm done with this, I'll be back. Anything comes up that's a little unusual, I'll be sure to point it out. Something I wanna point out, these bearings are for Briggs and Stratton. But if you're buying bearings, especially if you're buying them offline, you want to pull off this cap and check the grease on the inside of this bearing. A lot of times when you buy bearings, especially if you're buying them from overseas or discounted bearings, you'll open them up and there'll be very, very little grease in here. So it takes just a couple seconds to pry it open with a small screwdriver, a pick or whatever you might happen to have. Check to make sure there's enough grease packed in there and then install them. Now, this deck this where is it? This deck has a Zerk fitting. I'm holding the deck up and holding the camera right here. When you put grease in that it's not getting to the inside of the bearing because the bearing's closed on both ends. If you want, if you want to use this to grease the bearings once they're in there, you want to pull off the end that's facing the inside, and that may work. Myself, I would just uh, make sure they're packed before you put them in. If you have a Zerk fitting that's clogged and you can't get the grease to go through it, and you don't have a new one to put on, if you heat it up with a torch, just a propane torch is enough heat for this. Heat it up a little bit. Then uh, put that grease fitting back on and pump it with grease and it should go right through without any problem. Just something I want to point out about the bearings. I didn't think of it earlier. And this is the part number. Get that zoomed in over here. There we go. If you got the part number, that's the part number for the bearing. Here's the part number. It's two one zero eight two zero. S and Sam, Emmons and Mountain. That's for the bearings, for the shaft, the spindle. The part number, and this is from Briggs. The part number is seven zero two seven six three two Y P. That's the spindle, and then I had to get the. Uh, pointed this out in the open and I opened the package. The blade holder for this is 703229494YP. And what I did so far was just to clean out all the old grease that was in here. This was left outside. I don't know how much moisture was in that from being left out. This I had a, a bucket over. I had this covered too, but you can see how these rusted up. And these, and these I'm going to have to do some work on. And these pulleys I'm going to have to do some work on as well. Oh, as well. A little stuff here. Alright, I'm back to work. 
Okay, I'm holding the camera and holding this pulley. This is the pulley that was good. And I noticed when I spun the pulley, it had a little bit of a wobble to it. And now I see why. See over here, this pulley's pulling apart. And this is something just from where, because we didn't, we didn't have to do anything to get this pulley off. It just came right off. Is that correct? See it right there? Up. Maybe. You can see on top. I can get the light through it. You can see over here where it's coming apart somewhat, right around that, right around this edge. But on the bottom part is where you can see it's pulling away. I get some light in here. Right there. From there to the top, a little bit to the bottom. So I'm going to try to tap this a little. I'm going to tap this a little bit to get it straight, and I'm just going to tack weld it. Get a couple of tacks right around here with the welder. Well guys, that's a wrap. I hope you found this video useful. And again, if you would, post your comments down below, any questions down below, give it a like. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. And I do have an affiliate link, an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you need any parts and you go through that Amazon link of mine, it doesn't cost you any more. And it does help. I do get a small commission on some of the parts that you order and between commenting liking subscribing using my uh, amazon link it does help with the growth of this channel and i do appreciate it so until next time stay close to your family stay safe and stay well and now i'm off to the next project stay well my friends